This video takes a look at incident management in response with Atlassian's Ops Genie. In Ops Genie, an alert is information about an event or occurrence that warrants attention. An incident is a major incident, an event that causes disruption or a reduction in the quality of service that requires an emergency response. We've made various enhancements to incidents in Ops Genie to better support a wide range of use cases. Enhancements include removing service dependency for incident creation, removing owner teams, making incident templates global, adding a new incident investigation view powered by Bitbucket, a Slack app for Ops Genie incidents, linking Jira service desk tickets, linking and creating Jira software issues, a new DevOps metrics report, and the ability to export postmortems to Confluence. We'll take a tour of each of these enhancements in this video. Leveraging Ops Genie for incident response enhances collaboration and empowers you to build a culture of trust and transparency around the incident remediation process. Let's take a tour of what's new. To automate incident creation, you'll need to create incident rules. The flexibility allows you to choose from various parameters that would kick off an incident automatically when something goes wrong. In this case, when the tag of an alert reads customer facing, an incident is created. Incident templates cite who the stakeholders are and who the responder team should be, as well as the details of what an incident looks like once it's created. Incident templates are now global, and we've removed the concept of owner teams, making it easier to define responders and foster collaboration across teams. In addition to using incident rules, you can also manually create an incident. Notice that a service is no longer required for incident creation. This is because sometimes it's not clear which service or services should be tied to an incident right away. To communicate during an incident, you can leverage an Opsgeny hosted bridge and chat in the Incident Command Center, use a Zoom bridge, or create an incident dedicated Slack channel directly from the incident details page. For this incident, we'll be communicating through the Slack channel. Now that collaboration's underway, it's time to start investigating. Powered by Bitbucket, you can now investigate deployment related incidents directly from Opsgeny. The dashboard displays a timeline of successful and failed code deployments, as well as past and ongoing incidents. Having all this information in the incident investigation view means being able to correlate incidents to code deployments as the potential cause. You can select entire deployments or specific commits as potential causes for the incident. They are then automatically added to the incident details page in Ops Genie, along with the related services. Once that's completed, we can quickly open a JIRA software issue directly from the incident details. Although the incident is already detected and a fix is underway, customers have noticed and are reporting it to the service desk. Associate those JIRA service desk tickets to fully measure the business impact and scale of the problem. According to Slack, the hotfix has been deployed and the incident is resolved. Notice that resolving the incident in Slack is reflected in Ops Genie and to the incident timeline. We're also able to add relevant chats from the channel to the timeline as well. Before completing the post-mortem, let's take a look at the new DevOps metrics report. This report can help determine how effective the team is at getting code to production without disruptions, like the one that we experienced today. Now it's time to get back to the postmortem. There's no need to go back through chat transcripts. Everything's recorded right here. Once you click publish, a copy is emailed to stakeholders. You can also export to Confluence for further distribution. That completes our tour of incident management and response from Atlassian's Ops Genie. Not using Ops Genie yet? Start a free 14-day trial today.